I hope that 2021 brings more renewed opportunities to celebrate our shared roots and culture. And next year, we hope to be at Scott Week in person, and I have no doubt it will be an even bigger celebration of all things Scotland. Hi, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Joni Smith, and I'm head of the Scottish Government team based at the British Embassy in Washington, DC. And I'm absolutely thrilled to welcome you all to Scott Week 2021. Of course, this year's events look a little different to the original plan, but despite the ongoing restrictions, the Scott Week team have been determined to make this event happen, and we're all so grateful for their hard work. Before Scott Week commences, I'd like to thank you all for your incredible support over the past 12 months. It has been an unpredictable time for us all, and we hope that you and your families have stayed safe. 2020, and a little bit of 2021, proved to be nothing short of a challenging year, with the pandemic impacting plans when Scott Week launched as a West Coast compliment to Tartan Day in New York. At short notice, and with an incredible pivot from in-person to virtual engagement, Scott Week did manage to go ahead last year and was a huge success. So it comes as no surprise to me that this year's programme is even fuller and is showcasing many speakers and industry experts from business and entertainment. Thanks to Scott Week's entrepreneurial approach, we are still able to celebrate the best of Scotland. As many of you know, Scott Week is a non-profit cultural and educational organisation with the mission to create opportunities for disadvantaged young people, including education scholarship programmes in arts, science, medicine and business. Providing such openings can be life-changing for people who may not have access to unique cultural experiences and opportunities for education. I'm so proud to see Scott Week embodying true Scottish values in their mission. The Scottish diaspora in America has always been passionate about supporting each other and keeping networks strong. And we've needed our connections more than ever in recent times. I have a huge amount of affection for our Scottish community in all corners of the US. Our team is so grateful for the work that you all do as friends and ambassadors for Scotland. You play a vital part in showcasing Scotland in the best possible way. Despite the difficulties of the past 12 months, there have been successes. We have, with virtual events, been able to reach Scottish communities throughout the world. And as well as this, we've been able to find future opportunities so that we can collaborate on the many shared goals we have and strengthen our connections. The arts and cultural industries have been hit particularly hard by the pandemic, so it's wonderful to see the huge range of Scottish art, creativity and culture featured here at Scott Week, from orchestral music, Scottish films, theatre, education and young performing arts students. For the next two days, we will be able to celebrate so many reasons why we are proud of our Scottish roots, culture and connections. This event is for people like all of you who feel such a strong affinity to Scotland. As the saying goes, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And thanks to Scott Week, we can be reminded of what Scotland has waiting for us. 31,000 lochs, some with resident monsters, 3,000 castles and stately homes, 130 active whisky distilleries, 550 golf courses, 790 islands and two national parks, as well as world-renowned arts, heritage and culture and artisan industries, both old and new. I hope that 2021 brings more renewed opportunities to celebrate our shared roots and culture, hopefully in person at some point in the not too distant future. And next year, we hope to be at Scott Week in person, and I have no doubt it will be an even bigger celebration of all things Scotland. Until then, I want to thank you all for your continued support. Please stay safe and enjoy this wonderful event. <laughs>